Hey there guys, Bearded is back with another 1OK Rock reaction. Um, this time we reacted something a, bl a bit slower. Um, it was requested by a couple of people. Well, it wasn't really requested, uh, but they were having a discussion about it and they said it was a really emotional song, so I really wanted to react to it. Um, but it was uh, Daniel Lund and 1OK Rock fans UK. They were talking about it and I really thought it would be an interesting video to react to, so I sort of picked it up and I'm a... Uh, well, We'll see what it is when we get into it, so why don't we just do that right now? Yeah, they were discussing it, and uh, I sort of saw it in the comments, because uh, again, I do read the comments. Uh, and I saw the discussion happening, and I was like, oh, well, that sounds like an interesting story behind that song. Might as well react to it, because it sounds quite emotional, so let's get into it. Uh, the video itself is only 480p, sadly. It does not go any higher, but... It's Yokohama Stadium, and that's what people seem to love. Sorry, I had to fix my chair. I love their lives. Their uh, live concerts. And I found out yesterday he's uh, 20 out of 29 uh, at the moment. That's ridiculous, he looks, he doesn't look that old at all. It's got a nice beat to it. doesn't sound like a sad song at the moment, but I guess that's because I don't understand what he's saying. It's, it sounds quite good though, it's quite a good song. I've been told the story behind it, uh, by the song. And I've been told it's actually uh, an apology to his parents for becoming a sort of rock star. But we'll get into that after the video. You see, like, they always seem to, like, the bassist seems to enjoy himself. They all seem to have a smile on their face, apart from Tuck, obviously, because he's always putting his emotion into it. I need to get translations for this. I really do. It's cool. Recover, man. Recover. It's fine. See, that's good fans. That's good fans. They, they cover for him. And the other band members, they know they've got to continue on. It does seem really passionate, actually, in the song. Is he crying? It looked like he was crying. Holy shit. It looks like he's trying to hold it back. You can see because he's got like sort of the uh, it, it's like he's frowning, but he's trying to keep it. But to be fair, that could just be me looking into it. 
like if I was told this wasn't a, like a sad or emotional song for him, I don't I don't know if I would have noticed those things. If you get what I mean? That was a great fucking song. That was a great fucking song. That was a really good song. <laughs> they all look exhausted. <laughs> that was fantastic. I really liked that. I really liked that a lot. Um, but when he when he sort of you, you see, sorry, my chair keeps messing up. You you, you saw that he uh, stopped singing halfway through. Like, obviously, it was a mess up, but it happens to the, it literally happens to the best of people, doesn't it? it happens to all the sort of uh, rock stars, pop stars, whatever sort of music you're in. It's gonna happen once or twice. But the fans covered for him, and the rest of the band they continued playing. That's really cool. That's what I really love about these live, uh, these live videos, because you get to see those things. You get to see those uh, mess ups and how they cover for them. You get to see them at their core and what they're really, really good at, and I really love that. But it was uh, onto the story. I was told the story behind this one was um, that well, behind the song itself was that uh, Tucker's parents. And I, I learned so much from you guys in the comments, like so much. Tucker's parents were both uh, singers as well. And that they didn't want that life for Tucker. And they wanted him to get an actual job, something with a stable income. And uh, Tucker said, no, that's not going to happen, basically. And he went out and he became a rock star. And he is. He's, he's fucking, I can only assume, ridiculously successful. I mean, I'm looking at the views on the videos, 3 million. Like, what's the views on this exact one? Three million five hundred thousand, uh, and that's just on one four eighty p video. You know, so like, he's probably rich and famous at this point. But that song is about him apologizing to his parents for becoming a rock star and disobeying them. Um, and I don't, I don't know if it was just me, and maybe I'm just sort of looking out for these things because I knew it was supposed to be a sadder song. Uh, but it did seem like he was sort of trying to hold back the tears, and there were a part. There was a part there where it looked like he was crying. And again, that's all part of that live experience, and I love that. Um, so, thank you guys for discussing it and uh, sort of leading me onto it. It was a really, really good uh, sort of video to look at. But, anyways, that's going to be it for today. Uh, we are super, 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 super close to 100 subscribers, guys. We're at 98, let me check. 98 subscribers at the moment. So, if we get that 100 subscribers, hopefully, I thought it was going to happen today. Maybe I was pushing my luck a little bit, but uh, hopefully tomorrow, hopefully, then we get out that reaction uh, to an anime series. And the anime series that you guys have, uh, well, that I've been asked to do is Fate Zero. And I'll be starting from where I currently am in Fate Zero, because obviously I don't want to go back and have fake reactions for you guys. That's just dumb. But I'll be starting from uh, episode 17 or 18. I can't remember exactly which it was. It's the beginning of Kiritsuga's background. But that's for tomorrow, hopefully, hopefully. But anyways, that's going to be it for me today, guys. I've been the bear. I'm going to go eat fish, hibernate, do bear things. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one.